have a blissful day, everyone, especially to our professor, Janelle Marcusarno. Good morning, sir. So at this moment, we're going to highlight the importance, the functions, the roles, the best practices, the problem of our CGS, and the possible solutions of it. Now, their goal is to provide a peaceful jurisdiction to determine whether a person committed a crime and if so, how they should be reprimanded. And their primary goal is to maintain order in their communities, ensure citizens are protected, and arrest any individuals who break the law. So, in addition, the Philippine government has organized and established institutions which serve to maintain peace and order. So these institutions are responsible for preventing crimes, enforcement of laws and apprehensions, and prosecution of those who violate the law. Lastly, the criminal justice system is the network of government and private agencies intended to manage accused and convicted criminals. So this system is compromised of multiple interrelated pillars consisting of academia, law enforcement, forensic services, the judiciary, and corrections. Five pillars of criminal justice system. The law enforcement pillar is also known as the prime mover of the CGS because it initiates the whole system through the arrest of an individual. Prosecution pillar. It is responsible for the conduct of investigation and prosecution of cases once they are filed with the Office of the Prosecutor General or those cases filed under the inquest proceedings. Court pillar. The court plays a dual role in the Philippine criminal justice system as participants and supervisor of the latter's process disintention in its role as participants. The court determines for the guilt or innocence of the accused. Correction pillar. The correction pillar undertakes the information and rehabilitation of offenders for the eventual absorption into the social and economic streams of the community through institutional or community-based programs. Community pillar, it is the unique feature of the Philippine criminal justice system to have the community as its fifth pillar. The community in this context refers to the elements that are mobilized and energized to help authorities and effectively addressing the law and order concern of the citizenry. Roles of criminal justice system The Philippine criminal justice system is composed of five parts or pillars, namely law enforcement, prosecution, court, correction, and the community. The Philippine government has organized and established institutions which serve to maintain peace and order. These institutions are responsible for preventing crimes, enforcement of laws and apprehension, and prosecution of those who violate the law. The function of criminal justice system is to manage accused and convicted criminals. Here in Philippines, the government has organized and established institutions which serve to maintain peace and order. The main purpose of criminal justice system is to protect society, punish offenders, and rehabilitate criminals. Criminal justice system is composed of five pillars, the police pillar, which is the prime movers of the crime, prosecution pillar, the determination of the legality of the action of the law, enforcer and evaluation of evidence present take place, court pillar, it is the, it is the forum where the prosecution is given the opportunity to prove that there is a strong evidence of guilt against the accused, correction pillar designed to allow prisoners to develop personal and social relationship and last is community pillar it is also relating to the activity that is intended to promote goodness or improve human quality of life and community well-being police law enforcement stand at the forefront of the criminal justice system 
Law enforcement is a deterrent and preventive activity. It consists of patrolling to supervise conduct, investigating to ident identify offenders and or recover stolen or missing property, warning or arresting those who are probably guilty or criminal behavior, and assisting in the prosecution and trial of offenders. Its goals are aimed towards the prevention of crime and disorder, preservation of peace and the protection of life, properties, and individual freedom. A large number of government agencies are involved in law enforcement one way or another. The kind and degree of involvement vary from general and specific law enforcement to enforcing standard and regulation pertaining to particular government activities. Prosecutors have an obligation to recognize the danger that in some cases they may focus too narrowly on what appear to be negative victim characteristics or conduct. Instead, an offender-focused approach to the case is the best practice, carefully considering all offender conduct, behaviors, and characteristics. This includes the frequent offender practice of targeting as victims persons who are vulnerable and who may not report the crime or may appear unsympathetic or not credible. Any history of sex offenses or other predatory or abusive conduct by the offender is highly relevant in all prosecutorial decision making. Corrections programs oversee persons convicted of a crime outside of jail or prison and are administered by agencies or courts with the legal authority to enforce sanctions. Meanwhile, the community is viewed to be an integral part of criminal justice in the Philippines and has been so recognized in that it is the fifth pillar of the criminal justice system. The seminar concluded with the adoption of final recommendations that will not only enhance the Philippine criminal justice system but also contribute to the needs of the international community in the field of community involvement and criminal justice. The Supreme Court has both original and appellate jurisdiction. It has original jurisdiction over writs of Amparo, habeas data, and the environmental writ of Kalikasan. It exercises appellate jurisdiction to review, revise, reverse, modify, or affirm final judgment and orders of the lower courts in all cases in which the constitutionality or validity of any treaty intentionally or executive agreement, law, residential decree, proclamation, order, instruction, ordinance, or regulation is in question. The Supreme Court has administrative supervision over all courts and court personnel and exercises this power through the office of the court administrator. One of the issue in criminal justice system is abuse of power. Abusing one's position of authority to unfairly benefit people, groups, or governments is a straightforward definition of it. Abuse of power has been labeled as a white-collar crime, economic crime, organizational crime, occupational crime, public corruption, organized crime, and corporate and governmental deviance, among other terms. These crimes all have deception as a common component, despite the fact that such crimes have been committed since the dawn of time. Contemporary technological and societal developments have made them more acceptable. The possible solutions to existing problem in criminal justice system means of preventing abuse of power include revaluation and revisions of rules of conduct, and position of strict penalties without provisions or parole for offenders convicted of abuse of power, and introductions of organizational procedures and codes of ethics to encourage responsible behavior. Consequently, to be a future law enforcer, I would rather focus 
and this problem to be settled. Knowing the step or technique to be used and how to stop abusing power. Lastly, abuse of power occurs when power is exercised beyond its legal or normative limits.